Hello darlings, welcome to another episode of Curries and Stories. Today I'm going to do something completely different. It's an Arabic version of a chicken biryani called Chicken Al Khabza. I hope I pronounced that right. And it's traditional in Saudi Arabia. So let's get cracking. Hob on. Right. So first of all, I'm going to put some butter in my pan. Let this melt. Right, my butter is melted. I'm going to add some whole spices into this. A couple of sticks of cinnamon, some green cardamom, just slightly opened, a few cloves, and some peppercorns. Give that a stir. Let the whole spices release their aromas with that lovely smell of butter. Mm. Now, into that, a couple of onions chopped just roughly. The onions need to brown slightly before we add our ginger and garlic. Right, my onions have browned nicely. And into this, I'm going to add some ginger and garlic paste. And just let that cook out for a couple of minutes. Lovely. So that's browned nicely. Into this, I'm going to add some tinned tomatoes. If you can't get hold of tinned tomatoes, please feel free to use fresh tomatoes. I've got some tomato paste here. Pop that in. Now, squish these tomatoes. Let's cook this down. So crank up the heat. Right, now to this, I'm going to add some spices. So we've got some cumin in there. We've got some coriander, some ground black pepper, a bit of a cayenne. This is optional. If you don't want to use some cayenne, leave it out, just a pinch. Salt. But don't add too much salt at this point because we're going to add some chicken stock, garam masala. Right now, what we need to do, we need to cook this down a little bit, at least sort of five to seven minutes. Right, you can see that the fat has separated from the mixture. That's the stage you want to get it at. Now onto the chicken. Now here I have some chicken thigh with the bone and the skin on. Now, for those of you who don't like skin, bear with me. This is the traditional way of making it. So let's just pop that in. Right, just give that a stir. So we coat the whole of the chicken. So if you don't like skin, also what you can do, at the end of the cooking process, remove the skin. But I would advise you to keep it on. So that's cooking away. The ratio really for rice and water is one cup of rice, double the quantity of water. So I've got a large one cup, and I have two cups of chicken stock here, which I will add to my chicken. So we just need to get that bubbling away. So once that's bubbling, give it about 20 minutes to 25 minutes when the chicken is just done. Keep it covered and wait. Right, my chicken's been cooking away about 25 minutes. Now, my grill is on, nice and hot. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to carefully remove these chicken pieces and put them on my tray. These are going into a hot grill for about 20 minutes, skin side up, turning once, but keep an eye because I don't want them to burn. Now, the rice. The rice will go in, but first of all, I'm going to add one shredded carrot. And this is always in the chicken al khamza in all the recipes that I've seen. So I'm going to add one lemon that I've just sliced and my rice. Let's pop all of this in. This is basmati rice I'm using, but hey, if you can get khamza rice, please use that. Turn up the gas, let this come onto a rollicking boil before we turn it down. So this has come to a nice boil. Now we need to stick the lid on. We're using the steam method here. Turn the gas right down and the rice is cooked when all the water has evaporated and the rice is nice, soft and tender. This will take about 10 to 15 minutes depending on the quality of your rice. Right, 20 minutes later, my rice is done. Now, if you find during the course of your cooking process that the water is evaporated but the rice is not done, please feel free to add much more water. 
go by eye and taste. Right, I'm going to pop this to one side. I've got a frying pan here. And do you remember that little bit of butter that we had left over? Right, now into my butter, I'm going to add some halves of almonds. Now we're just going to chuck them into the butter. Some sultanas. Just a few. They'll plump up nicely. While that's happening, let me go and get my chicken out. Our chicken looks lovely. It's all gone crispy and caramelised, as you can see. That is going to be delicious. Right. Let's get serving. Lovely garnish of the sultanas and the almonds. So there you go, guys. This is my version of chicken al khamsa straight from Saudi Arabia. Do try it at home, and if you do, send me pictures of how your dish turned out. This is perfect served with some hot, spicy chili sauce. Enjoy!